The country's financial services sector named in the so-called Panama Papers released today. Good evening, everyone. I'm Keishla Adderley, and welcome to The Bahamas Tonight. Well, topping the news, the leaked document detail alleged money laundering and tax evasion through offshore companies worldwide. The Panama Papers were created by the Panamanian corporate service provider Mossack Fonseca and consists of 11 and a half million confidential documents. The 2.6 terabyte worth of documents were leaked to a German newspaper and have information on nearly a quarter of a million offshore companies. And as Janea Noel Ferguson tells us, one such company was based right here in the Bahamas before being dissolved. It could be another major blow for the financial services industry already under scrutiny. This as the Bahamas was recently listed in leaked documents now being dubbed internationally as the Panama Papers as the third most popular tax haven. Now the documents were reportedly leaked from a Panamanian law firm, Mossack Fornesica. The papers released by International Consortium of Investigative Journalists consists of over 11.5 million pages containing more than 40 years of data. The paper suggests that countries like the Bahamas serve as a key hub for those looking to avoid taxes and launder money, allegedly including Ian Cameron, father of the United Kingdom's Prime Minister, David Cameron. He was the director of an investment fund reportedly based here in the Bahamas. Now, the documents also name a prominent Bahamian bishop, now deceased, who reportedly acted in various roles, including vice president of that fund, which we understand was later dissolved in the late 1990s. Minister of Financial Services Hope Strawn spoke of the local industry and the government's action to avoid blacklisting. Because this is um, while that's a regional um, problem where um, despite the fact that we have and continue to be compliant um, on a regulatory stand, we continue to be blacklisted by certain countries. Ryan Pinder, a U.S. tax attorney and partner at Graham Thompson & Co., allayed fears of the possible negative implications for the Bahamas. He said that as a financial hub, it was no surprise that the Bahamas was named. The um, sensationalism around it um, creates unnecessary and, and in many instances incorrect branding. You use two words. Uh, tax haven and, and, and a place for money laundering. Um, yes, we're going to be active. There's cross-border flows of capital, of money, of structuring, of companies, of doing business. We claim to be the gateway of the Americas. So does it surprise me that the Bahamas may have been mentioned in, in these Panama Papers? No, it doesn't. Pinder acknowledged that while the Bahamas has in the past been regarded as a tax haven, Times have changed. But there's nothing sinister or illegal about having uh, structures that go across countries. Um, I think there's, we have to recognize that we have the talent in the Bahamas to protect our industry. Uh, we don't have bearer shares. We haven't had bearer shares uh, since the 2000s, early 2000s, late 90s. When asked about the possible negative impact on the Bahamas as a result of the Panama Papers, Pinder said it may be too soon to tell. And certainly with knowing that, that these um, unlawful leaks have occurred in jurisdictions such as Panama and prior the British Virgin Islands. Um, that always uh, is a concern and is a concern for clients. We also have to describe uh, the Bahamas and our advantages here, um, that we are a sovereign country, uh, we are forward-thinking, uh, we are innovative, um, and we still strive to respect the financial privacy of our clients. The investigative journalist group says this is just the tip of the iceberg and they plan to release the full list of companies and people linked to the Panama Papers in early May. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNS Network News. Well, Financial Services Minister the Honorable Hope Strawn says the leak of the documents which list the Bahamas as the third most popular tax haven is disconcerting and the leak further challenges the work and validity of international financial centers. Strawn addressed the leak at a press conference this evening saying the matter is particularly troubling since the Bahamas is a compliant jurisdiction operating under international regulatory standards. She says the Bahamas continues to ensure it does everything to remain compliant and and maintain its reputation as a premier financial center. 
Further, she says, the country consistently demonstrates its commitment to international tax transparency, anti-terrorism, laundering, and countering of financial terrorism initiatives. The minister says it's too early to tell if the Bahamas will be impacted negatively, but officials must also confirm the facts of what's been reported and make a determination as the matter progresses. She also says it's unfortunate that regulatory bodies continue to go out of their way to label countries like the Bahamas on the basis of what suits them. It must be reiterated that the Bahamas has been deemed compliant by the Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development, better known as the OECD, Global Forum on Transparency and Exchange of Information for tax purposes. Further, the Bahamas has committed to the implementation of the automatic exchange of information by the OECD and through the common reporting standard using a bilateral approach that is fully endorsed by the OECD. We are also fully compliant with the U.S. Foreign Account Tax Compliant Act.